My name is Dan Pelton, and I'm an automation engineer with Kendall Electric. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the Micro 800 controllers. We'll explore the features of each of the controllers within this family so that you can choose the right one for your next application. Here we see the entire Micro 800 control system with a variety of options I'll introduce. These controllers are a low cost yet fully featured control system for your smaller or standalone machines. With a variety of options, you can right size the controller for your application while maintaining flexibility with expansion modules and communication options. Let's compare the performance and features against the memory and I.O. of the Micro 800 controller family. First up is the Micro 810 controller. This is intended for applications where you may replace a programmable relay or timer and suitable for applications where your I.O. count is up to 12 points. This is our Micro 810 controller. Based on the model chosen, you can supply either DC or AC power. On top are the embedded DC or AC inputs, along with analog inputs. On the bottom, we have embedded relay outputs. And then on board, you can see there's a one and a half inch LCD display that can be used to either program the unit or as an operator interface. This is removable, so you can choose to ship it with your equipment or not. Also, there's a small port here that allows for programming via USB. With this adapter, you can program the Micro 810 with connected components workbench software, which is used to program all Micro 800 controllers. Also, mounting is available in DIN rail or panel mount. Next in the family is the Micro 820. This is for smaller applications and introduces the ability for expansion suited for applications 20 to 36 points. This is the Micro 820 controller. This is supplied with 24 volts DC. On board, we have embedded DC inputs and analog inputs. Also on board, we have DC outputs and analog outputs. As you can see, we have two plug-in module slots available. These can be accessed by removing the cover and replaced with a module of your choice. Also on board is a memory card slot. This could be used for uh, program backups, recipe handling, or data logging. On board as well is an ethernet port for connectivity, as well as a serial port. The serial port can be used with an optional LCD display this is an ASCII text display that offers four different backlight options, as well as a tactile keyboard, along with IP65 rating for your factory floor environments. This is followed by the Micro 830 and introduces motion capabilities and is suited for applications from 10 to 88 points. This is the Micro 830 controller. This requires 24 volts to power. On board, there are DC or AC inputs, along with DC or relay outputs. This is capable of three axes of motion with pulse train outputs. Based on the model chosen, there can be up to five plug-in modules. On board is a real-time clock, as well as a USB port this could be used for programming with CCW or Connected Components Workbench, as well as a serial port that could be used for an operator interface. There is also a physical switch for run program modes. Next up is the Micro 850. This introduces Ethernet IP capabilities and expansion via plugin or expansion modules. This is our Micro 850 controller. This requires 24 volts DC, but as you can see in the picture, we also have a power supply available that matches the same profile as the Micro 800 controllers. On board, there's embedded DC or AC inputs and DC or relay outputs. Also, this supports three axes of motion via pulse train output, and we can have up to five plug-in modules capable, depending on the model you choose. Also with the Micro 850, they support up to four expansion modules. These can be accessed by removing 
the end cover and replacing with the expansion module of your choice. Once these are locked in, you could leverage and utilize the expansion module. Also, you'll want to be sure to include a right end cap that makes the proper electrical connections. Also on board, there is Ethernet, USB, and serial ports, along with that physical run and program switch. Lastly is the Micro 870. This is for your largest of applications, ranging up to 304 points of I.O. The Micro 870 controller expands on the functionality of the Micro 850 controller, but as you can see from the picture above, supports up to eight expansion modules for your largest of applications. As you can see, the Micro 800 controllers offer a lot of versatility in a cost-effective solution. We hope you found this information useful and consider using the Micro 800 for your next project. Thank you for watching our video. If you would like more information, you can contact your Kendall Electric Account Manager or Automation Specialist. You can visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest to you. Stay connected to us by subscribing to our Kendall Electric YouTube channel or following us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Thank you and see you again on our next Kendall Quick Connection.